Hi, I'm Danny Davis coming to you from the Washington, D.C. area. I'm a foreign policy and defense writer by trade. You know, most of us have noticed that over the last year or so, the, the international news has been dominated by the U.S.'s uh, fight against ISIS in Iraq, in Syria, against the Taliban in, uh, in Afghanistan. But sort of beneath the radar, there's been something brewing uh, that is really quite amazing when you think about it and, and very troubling. The United Nations has recently revealed that there are more people displaced by wars and civil wars and internal strife than at any point since the end of the Second World War in 1945. It is a staggering number. There are millions of people that have been forced out of their homes by war. One of those places that for various reasons has been on my heart lately is the country of South Sudan. South Sudan is on the brink of a cataclysmic event, according to the United Nations. The Republic of South Sudan, ravaged by a three-year civil war and unthinkable violence, is creating, Africa, creating Africa's largest and the world's third largest refugee crisis. Since December 2013, 1.5 million people have been forced to flee their country. Among them, hundreds of thousands have fled to northern Uganda. Another you know, like a lot of people, I think, well, man, it's terrible, all the things that are going on there. I wish it was something I could do to help, but I can't. I mean, I'm just one guy. I'm just in the United States. I mean, what can I do? Well, I, I don't even know. For various reasons, I've just, something inside me has recently said, well, it's not good enough. You can do something, and you need to do something. So I found an organization that is helping the South Sudanese there in Uganda. Uh, it's World Help, a Christian aid organization. Uh, and I met recently with the vice president called uh, Cyrus Madbondo, and he was able to help me figure out how I can help. So we have coordinated, and I'm going to uh, fly to Entebbe Airport in Uganda, in Kampala, and I'm going to physically escort uh, some supplies that, I've, that I have purchased and take them to those families. But my funds are relatively limited. So I'm offering you this opportunity to join with me by providing some money, because you probably can't just, you know, uh, take off from your job and fly to Africa and go carry items to the people. But what you can do is you can help me do that. So I'm asking you to help out in any way that you can. I mean, this is one of those times where your help actually can make a life and death difference. What you do can be the difference between whether someone lives or dies. Thank you for your consideration. I appreciate it.